indigo type three archetypes. So I'm going to give y'all three archetypes who are celebrities that I believe embody the indigo type three swag or personality. Now, just want to let y'all know the three examples I'm going to provide today. They are all black men. And although indigo type threes come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, I guess the reason why I am attracted to talking about these three men today as indigo type threes is because sometimes black men can be polarized in our society. And one thing about the indigo type three personality is that it's very polarizing, right? Because we've talked about in previous videos how the indigo type three archetype can sometimes feel like an angel and a devil like in the same body. And uh, one thing that indigo type threes are here to do is to embrace non-duality and to support with elevation of consciousness through being able to go, being able to go through some really high points and some really low points. And so these three men really embody that for me. So the first one I want to highlight is Tupac Shakur. And uh, he's definitely an indigo type three or, um, when, I, when I think about that, because he had this side to him where number one, he was, number one, he was very polarized. So he literally had an album out called Me Against the World. And um, he definitely got a lot of hate, but he also got a lot of love. And even though he was talking about thug life and a lot of his albums and stuff like that, he also was a poet. He was a dancer. Uh, he was a writer and wrote a really beautiful piece of poetry called The Rose That Grew From Concrete, which really embodies a lot of what the indigo type three endures in the world. And um, he's very well loved, like even to this day, um, many years after his assassination, uh, people have this really deep love in their hearts for Tupac. And a lot of that become, uh, is because he was able to embrace duality, right? Um, which makes him really relatable. So that's the first uh, archetype that I want to provide. The second indigo type three archetype that I want to provide is Malcolm X. So Malcolm X was definitely a disruptor, right? And he was able to be a disruptor and able to be such a strong, staunch activist because he went through some really low points and then he was able to find balance and peace later on. You know, he started off his life as a pimp and grew up in a lot of trauma and um, ended up in jail for a really long time and then uh, definitely kind of tapped more into his God consciousness, which activated his activism, right? But he also had to endure a lot of hate, even in his own community. You know, he got a lot of hate thrown at him. Uh, he ended up uh, leaving the Nation of Islam, which was basically a cult, and um, was very much his life was very much threatened from leaving that organization. And he went um, even against the Nation of Islam, and he was very much somebody who had to stand out on his own. And you look at this picture of him around some of the last days of his life, he literally has like a rifle looking through his window because that was how, that was like, so many people were out to get him, right? And um, yeah, so that's that's an example, but he's somebody who's so well loved. Um, so many years after his assassination, he's still somebody that people really look up to and he's still activating people till this day. The number three that I want to talk about is DMX. DMX is definitely somebody who, he had a lot of heart. He had a lot of heart he felt really deeply. He also had a lot of trauma. And he even talked about it in his music of like, feeling like he had a, a demon inside of him, you know, calling his demon Damien even and stuff. And um, yeah, and yet something about that made him really relatable to people. And so, um, you know, even looking at this picture, though, of him, like, taking care of orchids, you know, which is so anti what a lot of his music was about. Um, it just shows, like, his ability to embrace duality and balance the darkness and light within him. He also um, is an example of sometimes what can happen to indigo type threes, um, losing their life to substance abuse, because it's really hard to quiet the noise from the trauma and then also just from uh, not feeling at one mint with themselves. And so you'll notice that the three archetypes that I mentioned, these are people who 
didn't really live very long. And unfortunately, I will say a lot of times indigo type threes, because they are so targeted, um, both on the physical and on the spiritual plane, sometimes they, they have traditionally had um, shorter lifespans. But I want to say that as we come into understanding and awareness of who we are and what our role is on this planet, that shifts as well because we're not able to be uh, or to succumb to attack because the reality of this is the reason why indigo type threes are under such attack a lot of times is because we hold a great deal of power being able to balance the duality does something to activate people all right it does something to activate a sense of leadership so uh just kind of knowing like looking at these three personalities they lived really short lives but look at how much power and how much influence they had but at the same time, the way that power and influence threatens society. And so, um, yeah, comment below if you can think of any other indigo type three archetypes. I think I'm going to do some more archetypes, but um, those are the three folks that were really on my mind. Sending y'all so much peace, love, joy, and happiness.